Good morning everybody and welcome to another episode of Finding Our Adventure. This week we're in Dartmoor National Park and we've been sent here by Bailey of Bristol to find the best places and the best walks in the park. And they've also given us one of their motorhomes to use to explore the park. So we thought it'd be really interesting to give you a quick tour of the van and then in the next episode to show you around Dartmoor National Park itself. using is the Bailey Adamo 69.4 and that's 6.9 meters long and it can have four people seat belted in when you're driving which is really great because you can invite your friends along and also have a great road trip with them. So the motorhome itself is built on a Ford Transit chassis and it's very smooth, very quiet and very easy to drive just like a car. So just going to give you a quick tour of the outside of the van before Hannah takes you inside and shows you the inside of the van. So we're just going to start on this side of the van at the front and give you a quick tour around all of the features on the outside of the van. Here we have the fuel fill up point, put your diesel in there. And then just behind it, we have your electrical hook up point so you can plug in at campsites and charge all your units in the van. Here you have your whale water fill up point so you can plug in there and it'll pull all your water in. It fills the tank up nice and quick. Just behind that, we have your cassette toilet hatch. It's a Thetford toilet, so it's very similar to all other motorhome toilets that you may have seen. Pulls in and out nice and easily and also, I think this is pretty standard now, but you've got a, um, a locking key here so you can lock it so no one can pinch your toilet. That'd be very bad if that happened. And then behind that, we've got this massive garage space. A um, little bit messy in there at the moment, but it's got a light here, huge amounts of space, which is really great. You can put your bikes in there, you can get your paddle boards in there, your surfboards. Apparently people even put their dog cages in it, so if the dogs are with them in the motorhome at night time, they can put them in there because it does have access from here that here into the main bit of the van as well so you could dogs can stay in there it's got a, it has got a heating port in there as well so they can stay nice and warm but they're just out of the way then so loads of space one thing i do really like is that you've got the main tucker socket there and you've also got a 12 volt socket there and i really like that 12 volt socket because we've got an electric pump for our paddle boards so it means that instead of having to use the um, cab socket you can plug in here straight to where your paddle boards are and inflate them out here so it's just really easy and really nice to use. And this amount of space means that you can carry everything with you. And it's just a, it's just a fantastic use of space. Moving on to the back of the van, we have a reversing camera up here, which is actually an always on camera. And that's great because if you are driving, you can always see behind the van because there is no window here because of the storage space in the shower behind here. And that means that you can see any vehicles behind you, a great safety aspect for this van. And you also have two uh, rear bike rack rails here to install a bike rack on. And that's good because if your garage is full and you have, can't put your bikes in there, then you can still have them on here so you can still take them with you. Okay, so moving on to this side of the van, you may notice that the garage door on this side is a completely different shape and different size. And it's actually really cool. When you open this, you'll find that you have through access to the other door, but you also have hanging space up here. And that's a really great feature because if you're like us, in the summer you might do surfing, you might do paddle boarding, lots of uh, water sports. It means you can hang your wetsuits in here. And there's actually drain holes um, underneath these bits here, so your water can all drain out. It's got a heater in, as I said before, so your wetsuits can dry out in here and they won't be in the van, getting the van all stinky and wet. So that is a really nice feature. And then also an upgrade on this Bailey compared to previous models is the release for the doors. It's just a quick flick like that and you can close your door. One thing we noticed about previous models is that it really locks in there and to get it off, you've got to pull it and it actually starts to loosen these bits over time. So having that really simple little um, finger pull is really nice. Okay, so here we have the gas locker. You can easily fit two six kilogram bottles in there and that will easily power all of your appliances. So your hot water, your heating, your stove, your fridge. Yeah, nice to have lots of storage for gas in there. A new feature on these Adamo models compared to previous models is that the grey water lever release is much easier to use. Before you had to twist the um, plastic cap like on a lot of other vans, but this one it literally has a pull lever here. You push it in to stop it from opening and you pull it out and it releases all the water. So that is really nice and easy, really, really convenient and you know saves you having to reach right under the van. You can literally just pull this lever and job's done. Here we've got the side access door and also we've got an exterior light above it. 
So that's the outside of the van. Hannah's now going to show you inside. Welcome to the inside of the Adamo. So when you walk in, you will find a control panel on your right, which allows you to turn on the water pump and also the exterior lights and also the interior lights. There is also a USB where you can obviously charge all your electrical goodies. And there's also the table switch. So there's an electrical table in here and this allows you to put it up and down. You'll also find two hooks just here where you can hang your coats. There's also a mirror to check yourself out on the way out of the van and also storage here and just there. There's also space for your TV just up here and all of your TV fittings just down here. You also find a bin just on the door here and you also have a fly net. Moving on to the living area, you have two large bench seats here and the two front cab seats also swivel to really open up the space. This is the dining room table and you can actually double it in size by extending it out like this, which is fantastic. And it's also on an electric pedestal. So this also goes all the way down and you can make a double sized bed here and it can also swivel so that you have full access to the cab area. So you can move it out the way like this and then you've got all this space here to get into the cab. The seats in the front are very comfortable. You also have lots of storage overhead and there are also curtains here for privacy. The living area is surrounded by windows which it lets in loads of natural light and each window is fitted with a fly net and also buck out blinds. Johnny mentioned earlier that you can fit four people driving in this motorhome and you might be wondering where those seats are. Well, they're actually hidden under this bench seat here. So once you've removed all the cushions, the seat pops out and you have a passenger seat. So you have one on this side and one on the other side as well. And it's a really versatile use of space because you can have it as a passenger seat, you can have it as a bench and it also turns into a bed. Moving on to the kitchen area, we have a decent sized sink with hot and cold water tap just there. We also have a three gas burning stove and an electrical hot plate. Underneath that we have the grill and an oven. And there's plenty of storage space above and below the kitchen countertops. We have also the hot water and heating control panel just here and also two plug sockets. Opposite the kitchen area, you'll find this 137 litre fridge. It can store all of your goodies and it runs off electricity, the batteries and also gas. There is also a storage cupboard just above. So this is the back of the Adamo and you'll find a really nice spacious bathroom. And you've got the toilet, sink, plenty of storage, even hooks for your towels. And then on this side, we have the shower. The shower is a really decent size with really good pressure and there's also two drain holes either side to help drain the water. You've also got a door here which helps to close the whole space off and have complete privacy. You might be wondering where to store all of your clothes and behind these mirrors here you'll find a wardrobe space which has got lots of shelves and there's even a rail for hanging space. And beneath the wardrobe, you'll find access to the garage. I mentioned earlier that you can seat four people inside this motorhome, and you may be wondering how four people sleep inside this motorhome. So we have this area here that turns into a double bed, but the piece de resistance is the drop down electric bed above me here. First, you'll lower the electric table to make this lower bed. So once the table's out of the way, you can start lowering the electric bed and there are two settings. So you can either have it at a midway point, so you can have almost like bunk beds, the lower bed and the electric bed above, or you can actually bring the electric bed all the way down to the level of where the table is. It's really convenient having this bed because you can basically have it all made up and you just pull it down in the evening and your bed's ready to get into. 
Thanks so much for watching our Bailey Adamo 69.4 motorhome tour. We really hope you've enjoyed it. And stay tuned for our next episode where we'll be exploring Dartmoor National Park. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.